Hello and welcome to a day in the life of a lab-based PhD student. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I am a final year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and I study in the field of natural products chemistry. So today I just wanted to walk you through what a typical day in my life looks like as a final year PhD student. My days are typically quite varied at the moment, it's not just lab work and it's not just sitting at the computer. And yeah, I just wanted to show you what I get up to. So I typically park at the gym if I plan to go to the gym after I finish in the lab. And I'm just pointing here where my lab is. And then I have to make the nice walk over to the chemistry building where I start my day. My lab is called the Marine Biodiscovery Centre and it's a lab where we do mainly natural products research using different marine organisms. This is the reality of what my desk looks like. It is not very tidy but the first thing I usually do is I sit down at my desk and I plan out what I want to do for the day. So I use an app called Zinnia for organising everything that's in my head and for planning my days and for planning my weeks and I use an iPad Pro 12.9 inch and an apple pencil so I can actually just write down all of the things that I need to do and it feels like I'm writing on paper without wasting any paper. After planning my day the first thing that I did lab wise was to check my cultures that I had been growing overnight in the incubator. I also had to remove some things that I had drying in another incubator because condensation on the tools that you need to use for bacterial work is really not good. Next, I took my USB stick and I collected some data from the NMR because I was just too excited and I had to check it on my computer quickly. I removed the cultures from the incubator and put them into this rack so I could transport them to the microbiology lab. And as you can see, the cultures were nice and turbid, which means that the cultures had grown perfectly well overnight. I take this box so I can take all of the things that I have gathered down to the micro lab as it's actually at the other end of the building so it's a little bit of a walk so in order to transport everything I need to put them into this box. One thing that's super important when you're doing lab work is to tie up your hair and to put on your lab coat. I have had my lab coat for many many years and as you can see I have quite a nice pin collection that's gathering on my lab coat. Then I made the walk down to the microbiology lab so I could start my microbiology work. So I don't think I explained what I was actually wanting to do in the microbiology lab but basically I've been working on some biological assays so some testing using microorganisms and my bacteria for some reason since I have come back from France have not been cooperating with me. So I was needing to trial out some new conditions to see if the bacteria would grow like they once used to grow. Here I am opening the biosafety cabinet because this is where we have to do microbiology work to protect ourselves and to also maintain a sterile environment for doing any sort of microbiology work. So it's really important to wipe down your surfaces with 70% ethanol or some sort of other sterilizing agent just to ensure that the surface is nice and sterile for carrying out your microbiology work. As you can see, I require a lot of things when carrying out a bioassay and you need to be really prepared when you're doing this kind of work. You don't really want to be running back and forth because you forgot to put something into the biosafety cabinet, so you want to just try and be as organised as possible. The first thing that I need to do is to label all of my falcon tubes, so I just do this with a permanent marker pen and I use this serological pipette in order to transfer the liquid media which is needed to grow the bacteria into the falcon tubes, the labelled falcon tubes, so I can just get a precise amount of the liquid media that I need. My next step after transferring the media to the falcon tubes was to then transfer from the overnight cultures into this fresh media so I could make the culture dilutions. 
It was at this point that I realised that I forgot to bring the vortex from the chemistry lab, so I had to run back up to the chemistry lab, go back to the microbiology lab with the vortex, just so I could shake the cultures to make sure that they were, you know, homogenous before transferring to the overnight cultures. Then I move on to plating up the bioassay. So for this, I like to use a multi-channel pipette. Just makes things so much easier, trust me. I tried to do it with a single pipette back in the day before I had my multi-channel and it was not fun at all. So here I'm just transferring all of my samples to the 96 well plate. And then afterwards, I also transfer my cultures just to see how my cultures react with the samples inside of the wells. Hello my YouTube friends and welcome to a day in my life. So I wanted to do a little bit more of an in-depth video kind of explaining what I get up to in the lab on a daily basis because I realise that my weekly vlogs sometimes I miss out details and sometimes it's not easy to understand the full picture of what I actually do in a day. So as you will have seen this morning I have been mainly in the lab, I have been plating up bacteria, I'm doing another bioassay, I've basically been writing my thesis recently if you didn't know and I'm finding some gaps in my data so I'm trying to fill in those gaps by doing those experiments which I didn't do previously. Now I'm beginning to feel a bit hungry so I'm going to make a cup of tea, I'm going to raid my snack drawer and see if I have anything to eat and then we need to figure out the plan for the rest of the day. Hello my friends, it is 2.30 and I'm only just going to get lunch. I've basically been focused, <laughs> very very focused on trying to solve the structure of one of my compounds. So overnight last night my sample was running on the NMR, which is basically a technique that you can use to help you determine the structure of your compounds and identify your compounds. So I got the data today and that's what I've been working on, but I've been so focused on the data <laughs> that it's half past two and I haven't had lunch yet, so we're going to go and get lunch now. On a normal day, I'd be way more organised than this, but I did not bring any lunch, so I went to the student union, where I like to get a sandwich from Subway sometimes, it's pretty cheap, and yeah, it fills a hole. So I just had a half an hour lunch today. Um, sorry, this angle is really not flattering, uh, because I want to get back to solving my structure, so I'm all excited. Some lunch times I will have lunch with my lab colleagues and other times I will just have it alone. It just depends on everyone's schedules and today I just watched some TikToks and some YouTube while I had my lunch and I enjoyed it in the student hub. But now back to the lab, back to the office to try and solve my structure. Ooh, I'm so excited. Hello, so we might have solved the structure of my compound. I have literally spent the whole afternoon <laughs> trying to figure out this structure. I'm going to work with one of my colleagues tomorrow to go over the data with him to see what he thinks is the postdoctoral researcher, Emmanuel, that you would have seen in one of my past vlogs. So yeah, that's what I've been doing for the last little while. It is 20 to 4 and I got a package earlier, which I had ordered last week because as a PhD student, if I need anything for my project, then I have to order it. So I had ordered some new bioassay plates, so 96 well plates, so I need to find a spot for them in the lab. I also need to retrieve my NMR sample because I forgot to take it earlier when I collected my data. And then we are going to the gym to play squash. My brain is kind of dead at this point. Today was actually a less chaotic day than usual because my day was split lab work in the morning, afternoon, computer, data analysis and problem solving so I wasn't running around too much today which was quite good but it just means that I didn't capture too much on footage this afternoon but I would just like to show you now the sorts of things that I have been doing this afternoon. So I've been using this NMR software called Mestranova. If you don't know what NMR is 
I do not have enough time to <laughs> explain it to you today but I am basically looking at all these little peaks I'm not going to show you too much because I don't want to give away my data because this is confidential and I've been trying to figure out the structure yes I've been trying to figure out the structure of my compound just from these little dots it's absolutely fascinating I've also been using my iPad which is getting a bit gross on the outside now and I have been making notes and drawing structures sorry I'm hiding uh, my information because I don't want to give anything away and I just use my Apple Pencil and and I write on it like I'm writing on paper, but it's so much easier because I can just search digitally um, for my information and it will find it in whatever document, whatever book that I have made it in. And yeah, everything is here. I can scribble, I can draw structures, I can you know, play around without having millions of pieces of paper. So that's just a little insight into what I got up to this afternoon on the computer. There was no point filming me sitting in the office on my computer, plus I get a little bit shy <laughs> bringing out the camera when everyone is around. But yes, before we go home, let's go remove the NMR sample and let's find a place for my delivery that I received today. So today I'm leaving and it's not even five o'clock yet, which is not normal for me, but that's only because I'm going to play squash at 10 past five because my boyfriend finishes work at half past four. And yeah, it's just the best time for both of us. But I was in a rush today because I was still in the zone trying to solve my structure. So yeah, not the most convenient to have plans straight after when I'm still quite busy, but it's fine because exercise is important for your health, important for your mind. So I know that it's going to greatly benefit me to switch off a bit earlier today because I have been in just straight focus mode for like the last five hours. So it's going to do me a world of good. I'm going to enjoy it. And now it's time to relax for the day. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this style of video, please let me know in the comment section below and I can easily make them again. And I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.